hello students uh, as we all know that the primary function of uh, progesterone is to prepare the uterus for the implantation of fertilized gamete or fertilized egg and further maintenance of pregnancy so in today's video we are going to study physiological actions of progesterone now in order to understand physiological actions of progesterone uh, let's briefly review one female reproductive cycle or menstrual cycle so uh, this is the chart that depicts uh, one menstrual cycle or one reproductive cycle now look at the figure 1 now one reproductive cycle uh, is a, of 28 days starting from the day 1 to the day 28 now as we all know that ovary uh, consists of immature ovarian follicles and around one follicle develops each month so this dominant follicle it develops and it ruptures on the day 14 it releases uh, an egg and the ruptured follicle gets transformed into a structure that is termed as corpus luteum and this corpus luteum produces large amount of progesterone and comparatively small amount of estrogen so progesterone is not produced in the first half of the reproductive cycle in the first half of the reproductive cycle there is no uh, production of progesterone it is only after the formation of corpus luteum progesterone is produced so progesterone is produced only during the second half of the reproductive cycle that is from the day 15th to the day uh, to the day 28th now look at this figure figure 4 uh, the secretion of progesterone is marked here in the red color so see during the first reproductive half there is no production of progesterone on the day 14 the ovulation takes place a uh, ruptured follicle develops into corpus luteum and it is the corpus luteum which produces progesterone in the large amount now if the egg is not fertilized then the levels of the progesterone again fall and this marks the beginning of one reproductive another reproductive cycle now look at this figure uh, as the graphene follicle uh, develops it produces estrogen and this estrogen is responsible uh, for the proliferation of endometrial now this lining it is the endometrium it is the innermost lining of the uterus and uh, this uh, estrogen is responsible for the proliferation of endometrium and further it is the um, progesterone which makes this uh, uh, endothelium secretory progesterone makes the endothelium secretory by increasing the blood supply to the uh, endometrium and further it makes the uh, glands uh, the endometrial glands or the uterine gland secretory so that they increase their secretion and thus progesterone uh, maintains uh, pregnancy and it is also termed as the uh, hormone of pregnancy now uh, let's uh, study the physiological actions of progesterone first is the effect on uterus now as already discussed uh, progesterone makes the endometrium secretory so progesterone brings about secretory changes in estrogen primed endometrium so progesterone significantly increases vascularization and thus increases the blood flow uh, the endometrial glands they increase their secretion and this causes tortuosity of endometrial glands and increased secretion now if the egg is not fertilized there is no implantation so if no implantation occurs progesterone levels fall and that results in menstruation that is there is breakdown of proliferated endometrial tissue there is breakdown of spiral arteries and thus endometrial tissue and blood is passed from the uterus as the menstrual flow however if the egg is fertilized and if the implantation occurs then progesterone levels remain elevated which decreases the contractility of myometrium and maintains the pregnancy now a secondary cervical secretion becomes viscid that is it becomes thick scanty and this prevents sperm penetration that is the cervical secretion becomes hostile to sperm penetration 
Now, progesterone causes a proliferation of acini in mammary glands. Uh, that is, mammary glands are the breast. And the main function of these acini uh, is to secrete milk during pregnancy. So, progesterone prepares the breast for lactation. Now, apart from this, high levels of progesterone during pregnancy causes sedation. And uh, progesterone also slightly increases the body temperature around 0.5 degree centigrade rise in the body temperature. And this is seen during the second half of the uh, reproductive cycle that is during, during the luteal phase. Now, apart from this, uh, progesterone stimulates respiration during pregnancy. Now, talking about the metabolic uh, uh, effects of progesterone. Now, 19 nor testosterone derivatives of uh, progesterone called as progestins can impair the glucose tolerance and they tend to raise the LDL that is they tend to raise the bad cholesterol and lower HDL that is reduce the good cholesterol thereby increasing the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Now apart from this uh, the effect of uh, progesterone on hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis now progesterone secretion is regulated by hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis. Now uh, corpus luteum uh, produces uh, progesterone and if the egg is not fertilized, progesterone itself exerts negative feedback effect uh, to the hypothalamus and this causes fall in the blood levels of progesterone. Now, synthetic derivatives of uh, progesterone are called as progestins. And these are of two types, progesterone derivatives and 19 nor testosterone derivatives. Now, progestins, specifically 19 nor testosterone derivatives, when administered during the follicular phase, that is, when administered during the development of ovarian follicle, suppress uh, pre-ovulatory luteinizing hormone surge and thereby these progestins prevent ovulation and thus 19 not testosterone derivatives they markedly suppress uh, gonadotropin releasing hormone from hypothalamus and they are potent anti-ovulatory drugs and since these are potent anti-ovulatory drugs these are used as oral contraceptives either alone or in combination with estrogens. So this is in brief on physiological actions of uh, progesterone and progestins. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.